even though we live in a, an overall environment that was built on an old story, and even though we carry a lot of habits of that old story, we still also have um, glimmerings of what the world could be, uh, glimmerings of a different system of meaning and value, um, a new normal that could manifest on this planet. But we don't have it yet, but we can create experiences of it that are kind of insulated from the uh, normal world outside of ourselves. And we can immerse ourselves in those experiences, in those relationships, in those bubbles, even if they're temporary. Uh, and, and each of those experiences, so for some people it might be a transformational festival, for some people it might be uh, doing some deep work with healing land or healing water, um, it could be you know some kind of relationship work, healing work, uh, family constellation kind of stuff. I mean, there's so many of these modalities. And you enter into that sacred space. And a crystallization happens there. You have the experience and you know that this world that you've intuited the whole time is real because you get an experience of it. And you know at that moment, yeah, I'm not crazy. You get a glimpse of what the world could be. Then, having had that, you go back into the old story, into the old world, into reality, but it doesn't quite seem as real anymore as it once did because you've seen something else and then you become a change agent for that. Uh, and there's no shortcut beyond that. I mean, no matter how powerful an experience you have at a festival on psychedelics in um, a healing setting, no matter how powerful it is, you know, on your meditation retreat, you go back. I mean, that doesn't make all those problems go away. It doesn't destroy the weeds uh, in, in the collective consciousness. But maybe then you're more empowered to pull up those weeds. I'm probably using the wrong metaphor here because, you know, we, sh we need to understand weeds as uh, providing an important service, stabilizing the soil, et cetera, et cetera. So, okay, excuse that metaphor, but you know what I mean. Uh, we, we, we can, so we can create um, experiences in safe spaces, I and mean, it could just be in a certain conversation where, where we can offer each other uh, a few minutes of like authentic connection, of really being heard without judgment, of compassion. And that kind of resets normal a little bit too. So it doesn't have to be, you know, like these uh, workshops and retreats and, and things like that. Um, as we experience it more and more, then we become carriers of it. And, and it's almost like we, we can carry the vibration of it and transmit it uh, to the other people that we touch.